Hi everyone, it's Sarah at the library. Thanks for joining me today to make our luminary jar craft. Um, here's an idea of what it will look like when it's finished. It's kind of hard to see because the lights are on, but you get the idea. Okay, I'm gonna run through the items that are in your craft kit so you can make sure that you have everything you need before you get started. First, you had your Mod Podge, which I've put in a bowl with my foam brush. Um, so that is ready to go for painting. Um, you have in your kit a little fairy cutout and a dragon cutout, so you can use either one. If you wanna put one on one side of the jar and the other on the other side, you can sure do that too and use both of them. Um, next, you'll have your jar itself. I've already got the lid off of mine, so it's ready to be painted with the Mod Podge. I put two sheets of tissue paper in your kit. You really will probably only need part of one of the sheets, so I've gone ahead and just cut a strip that's closer to the size of my jar. So I have that ready. Um, they recommend one layer. You can do more than one if you want. It just depends on how transparent you want your jar to be. I have my bag of clear glitter that came in your kit. And then I just got a paper plate out. So while I'm shaking that glitter, I'll have it over the plate so it doesn't go everywhere. We all know how glitter behaves. I have a length of twine to put on the top of the jar. And we're finished a few little flowers, a couple little jewels for decoration, and our tea light for when we're finished. Um, I will mention as well, you can either let your jar air dry after you put the Mod Podge on, or I've got a hair dryer as well. So if you wanna speed up the process for drying, um, you can have that handy and it dries really pretty quickly with that. Okay, step one, you're gonna have your jar with the lid off. You need your Mod Podge. You're gonna paint just a little bit on the inside wherever you want to place your fairy or your dragon. Um, this Mod Podge will dry clearly. So I'm just gonna put a little strip in there and I'm gonna go ahead and use the fairy today. So I'm gonna get that in there. And stick her down. Um, my fingers. to that side of the jar. And you can always put a layer of Mod Podge on top of her too. Kind of helps it just seal in there. You can see I'm just painting another layer on. Okay, so I've got my fairy stuck in there. If you'd like to do your dragon on the other side, it's the same step. You can just go over to that other side. And the Mod Podge can be replaced with plain white glue. So if you have white glue at home, um, that's an easy substitute. Or if you wanted to try this again, but you don't have Mod Podge left. Okay, step two, we're gonna go ahead and put the tissue paper on our jar. So we're gonna take our jar and just start painting some Mod Podge around the outside doesn't have to be a super thick layer. And you don't want to go up onto the rim because we are going to put the lid back on. Um, so just right to that lip of the jar. Once you've got a little bit on there, you can go ahead and place your tissue paper on there. And if it tears or wrinkles a little bit, that's not going to be a problem. You'll still be able to see through and we'll go over it again in a minute and that will kind of help to mask any of that stuff. So just painting the white layer on there. And continue wrapping it around. And again, I did cut just a smaller piece of tissue paper. Um, so it would be a little bit easier to work with. You do want to leave a little extra at the bottom so you can wrap that underneath once you get around your jar. And 
And if you overlap your layers a little bit, that is going to be fine too. It hides it easily. Okay, so I've made it around the jar. I'm going to cut some of this excess paper off. And I've got quite a bit on the bottom, so I'm just going to cut a little bit off the bottom, too. Put a little bit of Mod Podge around the bottom. Fold that tissue paper over. Okay, so once you've got that layer pasted down and where you like it, I would recommend just going over it again um, with a layer of Mod Podge on the outside. It just has to be a thin layer. You'll notice as you're doing that, that it does really hide any wrinkles or tears pretty well. I'm going to put a little bit on the bottom just to seal that up. Okay, so then you'll want to let that dry for a little bit and make sure that everything on the outside is completely dry before we go on to our next step. Okay, so I've hair dried around the Mod Podge. It's mostly dry. Again, you want to make sure it's pretty dry before you continue. So our next step is to put on the glitter. And again, you can use white glue if you have that at home or you want to do this again. You're just going to go around the top edge. You can make some um, little drops so it looks like it's running down the jar if you like that look. I'm going to go around the top edge and a little bit around the bottom edge. Like that. And then I did get a paper plate out just to catch some of the glitter. It can go everywhere. I'm going to open that. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit around the edge. You don't want to cover your jar with glitter because it, the glitter does kind of mask um, the cutout on the inside a little bit more. And so do just go around the top and bottom edge. To give it a little bit of sparkle. Now you've got your glitter done. Okay, once you've let that glitter dry just a little bit, our next step is to put our twine around the top. I gave you a pretty long piece so you could wrap it twice. Um, if you find you don't want it that long, just cut some of it off. Um, just go around that bottom loop of the jar because again, you're going to want to um, put the lid back on. You don't want it to be in the way. I am going to wrap it around two times. And then you can put a bow on the front or just tie the knot. I'm going to do a bow. And kind of double knot it maybe just to keep it from coming apart. I might trim just a little bit of that ribbon off. So it looks a little more even. And you can adjust it a little bit if you want to put, if you have some hot glue at home, you can put just a little drop of that on the bow or um, just to keep that twine in place around the bottom. 
And like I said, you can just put that bow at the front wherever you want. If you don't want it on the top of your item, you can move it to the side wherever you like. Okay, our next step is to put on our floral embellishments. You should have three in your jar. If you don't want to use all of them, that's fine. Um, and we're just gonna take a little bit of glue, put a spot where you want the embellishment at, stick that on there. And again, if you have a hot glue gun at home, that might work a little bit better for this step. Um, but you can do it with Mod Podge or white glue as well. I'm going to put a couple of them on. A few of the embellishments that were in your bags, you may not all have one, um, are sticky on the back, so you can just peel off and stick those on too. You won't need glue. And then there are some jewels in your bag too. If you want those, you can certainly add them. Um, you don't have to. I might just put a little jewel in the middle of my flower here. So you can get that decorated however you wish. Okay, and our last step, once everything has dried, you're gonna just drop your tea light into your jar and turn it on. Have that light coming through. And go ahead and replace your lid. And you've got your jar. Okay, thanks for joining me to make the luminary jars today. I hope yours turns out great. We would love to see them when you're finished. If you want to post them on our Facebook page, with hashtag KPL summer 2020 so we can see how they turn out. We would love that. Have a great summer.